The movie begins with Emily and her boyfriend, Luke, attending a grand party organized for Luke's uncle's wedding. Despite the festive atmosphere, the couple is engrossed in each other, passionately in love. Excusing themselves from the party, they slip into one of the washrooms to intensely make love. However, as they engage in their private affair, an object falls out of Luke's pocket, surprising Emily. Picking up the object from the floor, Emily discovers it to be an expensive engagement ring. In a surprising turn of events, Luke proposes marriage to Emily, and the couple is thrilled at the prospect of getting married soon. While Emily excitedly shares the news with her mother through text, Luke hasn't informed his parents about the engagement yet. The next morning, as they get ready to leave for work, it becomes apparent that their relationship is still a secret to most people. Emily and Luke work together at the same corporate investment company, and their romantic involvement violates company policy, which prohibits colleagues from entering into romantic relationships. Despite being colleagues and professional competitors, the couple hides their relationship from other colleagues and bosses, living together in an apartment after office hours. Soon, during a meeting attended by both Emily and Luke, the current portfolio manager of the company experiences a fit of anger and violence, smashing through computers and other equipment in his room, angry because of his abrupt termination without prior notice. Such firings are not uncommon in the office environment, and the meeting proceeds as planned despite the chaos. Shortly, Emily overhears two analysts discussing the next portfolio manager, and office gossip suggests that Luke is likely to be chosen. She secretly informs Luke about this exciting news, and the couple celebrates the occasion passionately at their apartment. However, their positive situation takes a downturn when Emily receives a late-night call from a colleague, urging her to meet urgently. Luke has his reservations and told her not to go. Emily rushes to the meeting spot. Upon reaching the restaurant, Emily finds out that it's not her colleague but the boss of the investment firm, Campbell, who meets with her. Campbell shocks Emily by revealing that Luke is not highly appreciated as an employee, and she is being considered as the next portfolio manager. Although Emily accepts the offer, she is apprehensive about how Luke will react to the news. When Emily returns home, Luke questions her about the meeting and his initial reaction reveals his disappointment. The unexpected promotion for Emily, a position Luke had hoped to secure, becomes the catalyst that drives a wedge between them, ultimately leading to the downfall of their relationship. Luke, having served at the firm for a considerable period, becomes confident about receiving the promotion after hearing office gossip from Emily. His self-centered nature becomes evident as he talks about how the promotion will change both his and Emily's lives, assuming he's already secured the role. Throughout the narrative, Luke appears to be someone who lacks consideration for those around him. Despite working in the same office for a comparable amount of time, Luke doesn't entertain the possibility that Emily might also qualify for the promotion. When Emily breaks the news to him, his expression reveals surprise and nearly disbelief although his words congratulate her while concealing his true feelings. Luke's insincerity is apparent when he explicitly states that he is not envious or disappointed by Emily's success. Emily notices the gradual change in Luke's nature in the following days. Despite her caring inquiries, Luke remains closed off about what's troubling him. Emily, sensing Luke's struggle, promises to help him by aiming for the next big promotion herself. She even attempts to convince Campbell of Luke's hard work and intelligence in investment predictions. However, her efforts are swiftly dismissed by the boss, citing Luke's poor performance in recent quarters and resulting financial losses for the company. Back at home, Luke becomes increasingly distant from Emily, particularly in their passionate moments. He loses interest in intimate acts, and Emily's attempts to cheer him up and offer support are met with resistance. Luke, preparing for his work at the office, seems to be struggling with both professional and personal challenges, further straining their relationship. Luke starts reading books by his favorite business coach, initially giving the impression that he is learning and trying to rebuild his damaged ego and confidence in a positive way. However, it becomes evident that Luke is using this newfound knowledge to look down on Emily, still hurt by her success. Luke starts making unsolicited comments about Emily's appearance and behavior, criticizing her for coming across as weak and accommodating in a professional setting. He insists that she should present herself more authoritatively to avoid being taken advantage of by her colleagues. These remarks expose a biased and gender-biased attitude, portraying Luke as someone who adheres to problematic and outdated views, 
resembling a fervent follower of a troubling ideology. Moment later, when Emily accidentally discards Luke's notes from his favorite author's business books, Luke reacts strongly, throwing a fit over the loss of his materials. With Luke's romantic enthusiasm dwindling, Emily starts spending time with senior colleagues, going out, and even overspending at a club after she received handsome, rewarding commission at work. Luke, now suspicious and insecure, believes Emily might be cheating on him and suspects that's how she got the promotion. Despite Emily's efforts to support Luke professionally, he continues to make incorrect business decisions, leading to financial losses. Emily manages to recover the money through other investments, but she begins to lose faith in Luke's professional capabilities. As the movie progresses, Luke becomes more problematic, resorting to name-calling and displaying a deteriorating attitude towards Emily. His behavior further strains their relationship, and Emily is left questioning her faith in Luke, both personally and professionally. Following the unsuccessful efforts of Emily to reconcile with Luke, Luke, determined to change his fate, approached Campbell independently when a fellow portfolio manager was terminated from the office. In a desperate plea, he directly implored Campbell to consider him for the newly vacant PM position. Displaying a lack of awareness, Luke believed that adopting a subservient posture, metaphorically groveling at Campbell's feet, would win him favor. However, this tactic proved futile as Campbell dismissed Luke, pushing him to the brink of a complete mental breakdown. After being separated from Emily for a couple of days, during a crucial meeting where Emily is presenting alongside her boss Campbell and co-worker Paul, she is focused on putting her personal issues aside to deliver an impactful presentation for the firm's client. However, her efforts are abruptly disrupted when a drunken and uncontrollable Luke enters the room. He wreaks havoc, destroying everything in his path and interrupts Emily's presentation he reveals to everyone that he and Emily had been involved romantically for the past two years, a violation of office rules and also offering him the opportunity to grow in the company in exchange for sexual favors, and quits the job after insulting Campbell. Feeling uncertain about how to rectify the chaos caused by Luke's disruptive behavior during the meeting, Emily struggles to locate him afterward. Her attempts to contact him are in vain, and she is left infuriated when she discovers that he is nonchalantly attending their engagement party organized by their parents as if nothing transpired. Upon finally finding Luke next to the bar at the party, Emily confronts him about his actions, both at the firm and within the relationship. In a tense moment, Luke let it out. He accuses Emily of using her romantic relationships to climb the corporate ladder, contrasting it with his belief that he worked diligently for years to achieve success. This accusation deeply wounds Emily, as the love of her life questions her loyalty and undermines her hard work at the firm. She grapples with the hurtful notion that perhaps she didn't deserve the promotion based on her merit. She hit him in the head with a bottle and left. The argument doesn't stop there. It extends to the bathroom where Emily and Luke continue to face off. Out of a sudden, their fight shifts into slightly aggressive kisses and sex. They engage in what seems to be one last encounter, fueled by passion and hatred. However, this time, the encounter takes a dark turn. Initially, Emily appears receptive, but as the situation escalates, Luke becomes excessively rough, leading to non-consensual sex. Emily explicitly communicates her discomfort and requests him to stop, but he disregards her pleas, culminating in a rape. The following day, Emily discovers bruises on the side of her face and body. Despite the physical pain, she bravely conceals the evidence with makeup and professional attire. Emily meets with Campbell, her boss, and falsely claims that Luke has been stalking her for months and that she rejected him multiple times in order to comply with company policy and also because she never liked him. Emily says Luke was delusional and made up stories about the two of them being engaged. Campbell doesn't buy it, but he also doesn't seem to care. He tells Emily to let HR handle the story and promises Emily that no firm will hire Luke now considering the stunt he pulled. He also advises Emily that blame and accountability are irrelevant. She should move on. This encounter exposes Emily to the harsh reality of the corporate world, where one's professional fate hangs in the balance at any moment. The powerful often evade consequences, while those at the bottom face swift dismissal. Reflecting at her desk, Emily witnesses a new employee assuming Luke's former role. The newcomer, another woman, quickly garners attention from male colleagues. 
As Emily observes, there's an implicit question about whether this woman will encounter the same challenges in a cutthroat industry primarily dominated by men. Upon returning home, Emily discovers Luke in their apartment, where he casually discusses the logistics of their breakup, seemingly unfazed by the recent rape incident. To Emily's disbelief, Luke reveals that his brother has secured an investor for him to start his own firm, demonstrating an ability to succeed despite his reprehensible actions. Frustrated and seeking closure, Emily demands an apology from Luke for the rape. Initially, he denies it, asserting that they both got carried away. This denial becomes the breaking point for Emily. In a moment of intense emotion, she grabs a steak knife and confronts Luke. Holding the knife to him, she insists on an apology and tears threatening further consequences if he refuses. Ultimately, Luke complies, crying and sincerely apologizing for the rape. Satisfied that Luke has finally acknowledged his wrongdoing, Emily instructs him to clean his blood from the blood and leave. She drops the knife, concluding the movie with a sense of closure and resolution for Emily, who has confronted the toxicity of her past relationship. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.